Hi folks, it's Matt. Uh, on this video, I want to show you a little bit about uh, these guys here on the side. They're called handles. Um, we're going to talk about writing um, on documents, on web, tape, on web pages, on the Clever Touch board. Um, so what I want to show you here, this is called a handle. And on the handle, you've got an overlay feature. I Notice I hit the pen. You've got two different colors of pen. And with the overlay feature, you can write on anything. Uh, you can write on a Word document, PowerPoint, uh, web page. Um, and then uh, you can save it if you like, uh, you can erase it, you can get out. Um, there's a variety of different uh, options that you have there. So let's start out with Word. I'm going to come over to Word document. So here's a Word document. I'm going to click on my handle. I'm going to choose a red pen here and I'm just going to go ahead and write my name. So you can see here, I can write a couple things on here. I can circle, I can underline. Um, and then uh, when I'm all finished, I could clear it. Uh, I could change pen colors, I write my name on this circle, underline, same idea. Um, and then uh, when I'm finished, I can clear it. If I want to save it, let me go back here. I'm going to write my name again. Oops, let my finger be a little lazy there. Uh, the crust, all right. And then I can do my underlining. If I want to save it, I simply hit the save button. And what it's going to do, you'll notice down here, it's going to save uh, in notes. And that, that's actually on the Clever Touch board itself. And we'll do that. We'll talk about that in another video. So I'm going to clear this off. So that's Word, uh, writing on Word. Let me clear that off there. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, web page. Uh, so here's uh, Google. I just went to Google and went to Clever. So I can write on a web page here. Same idea. I can choose red. So I can underline, highlight, circle, whatever it is I need to do. If I want to save it, I hit save. If I want to clear it, if I want to move to a different page, I simply clear it and get out of my overlay feature of my handle. All right. So let me minimize this. Uh, PowerPoint, we've got a couple different options on PowerPoint. So I'm gonna go uh, slideshow. I'm gonna start this from the beginning. Um, PowerPoint, I can scroll forward in my slides here. I can write with the overlay feature. So I'm gonna choose a red pen. So I'm just gonna write using the overlay feature. Again, circle, underline, do the same kind of things I would do on a regular page. I've got multi-touch. Uh, if I want to clear it, if I want to move to the next page, I clear it. If I want to save it, I can hit save. Let me exit out of this. Your other option with PowerPoint is to touch it down here on the bottom left-hand side, and you actually have a pen feature in PowerPoint, and you can write on the PowerPoint itself, circle, underline, uh, and it'll stay uh, on this particular document. So if I want to move um, to the next slide, I just simply unclick the pen, and then I can move to my next slide. There you go. Move to my next slide. I can go back and I can see those annotations and at the end of the slideshow, if I want to end it, it'll ask me if I want to keep those annotations. In this case, I'm going to just discard them. So that's how to do PowerPoint. So PowerPoint, that's one way to do it. Smart Notebook is another way. Uh, you can use the overlay feature. So I can use my overlay, choose a different pen color. I can write on top of it, circle, underline, do whatever I need to do, clear it. The other option with Smart Notebook is I can actually, I can go to full screen here, um, and I can choose a pen, just like I can with my Smart Board. I'm gonna choose a red pen, all right? And I can write, you can see the writing is a little different. Uh, I've got multi points of touch, um, and then if I wanna scroll down on the document, my writing stays there. So I can write, continue to write a little more. Uh, my writing stays there. Until uh, in, until I close it, and it'll ask me if I want to keep my it'll ask me if I want to keep my annotations when I close it. All right, so if I go to close it, it'll ask me do I want to keep my annotations. I'm going to say no, and there's that. All right, so just a quick review. We've got the handles. Um, there are there's a back button, there's a home button that really applies to the Android section. This is really what you want to look at. This is your overlay feature. So with the overlay feature, you can write on any board, any surface. Uh, you can write over on top of uh, videos if you want to. Uh, and then when you're done, you just clear it off. If you want to save those annotations, if I want to save those annotations, I click, simply click on save. It'll tell me it's in my notes file. A little window pops up down here. It'll save to notes. That saves on the Android side of the board. And we'll go over saving on the Android uh, side of the board on another video. All right, so that's it for the handles. That's it for uh, annotating over on documents. Uh, feel free to contact us at support if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.